Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today, what I want to go ahead and show you guys is kind of like the... I guess if you guys have been following the, um, what is it? Fuck, I already forgot what it's called. The Brain Rattler Inquisitor that I've been playing. Well, today I decided to finally go crit. You can see my man is wearing his tights and he's pretty happy about that. Uh, with our, with our Brain Rattler. And, uh, ended up 5-linking it and 5-linking my chest piece as well. Going CI, uh, pretty much getting everything that I said I was going to get done with the character accomplished. Um, but I do have some bad news, and then some good news, and then some bad news again. So, this is my guy in hideout, if you want to see. Uh, I've got Discipline, Hatred, and Purity of Lightning. My crit chance is actually not too bad. It's 40% chance before my Vinkdar. Vinkdar puts me up to 43%, and then a Diamond Flask almost kind of, you know, puts me like really high, basically where I need to be. Uh, I still don't have any jewels on my character. Like I have efficient training, which is not even going to be needed. So I've got one jewel, two jewels, three jewels, four jewels, four jewels open. That's a ton of damage. Five jewels actually here. Uh, there's quite a bit of damage I'm not, I don't have on my tree yet, and I can get up to 10k ES. So that's the character that I have right now. So I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate and show you guys this character. And I do want to start off by saying that I do not like this character. Um, the damage is more than fine, but it does not have the survivability that I'm looking for. And I'm going to respect my character into something that will work. So let's go over the links really fast. I was originally Cyclone. The problem with Cyclone is the AoE on it was terrible because Cyclone doesn't really need AoE. What it needs that's more important is, um, is weapon range. Weapon range you can get on the tree and whatnot is extremely important for Cyclone. Uh, you can find it like here, for example, plus two melee and unarmed weapon range. Now, um, I decided instead of Cyclone, I wanted to try out a couple skills, so I tried out Ground Slam. I tried out uh, last. Not I actually did not try out Lacerate. I tried out Ground Slam. I tried out. Um, I don't know if you can Lacerate with a mace. Um, Sunder. I tried out Earthquake. I tried out um, Sweep. And you want to use this with physical skills, not conversion skills. You could do it with things like Glacial Hammer or Ice Crash or etc. The problem with that is like, why would you use a Brain Rattler? Then you, there's no point, like just use something else. Um, so that was the, the kind of uh, testing I decided to go through. And I came to the conclusion that Earthquake was by far the best than it was. Um, so what I've got at the moment is Earthquake, Weapon Elemental Damage, Increased Critical Strikes, Fizz to Lightning, and Less Duration. I do not have increased AoE, which sucks. Uh, that's kind of like why I didn't like Earthquake, because you pretty much need to have a 6-link, uh, or else it doesn't really feel right. So I'm going to use increased AoE um, up until I get to Vault. I also have, again, the Earthquake... Um, what is it? The... Uh, sorry. I've got a quality less duration here, and I have uh, on my helmet the 30% reduced Earthquake duration. Alright, so that's pretty much going to be it. I'm going to show you guys it, and then I'm going to tell you guys what I'm respecting to and whatnot. In terms of surviving Reflect, uh, I do have Cast from Damage Taken, Warlord's Mark. Pretty sure that's not enough, and I'm pretty sure I will die to Reflect at some point. Uh, also, I should be using uh, an Ice Golem, but my Ice Golem died because I deleted it by accident, and I have to go buy another one. So that's kind of something that we're going to have to work towards. <laughs> it's the uh, Ice Golem fund. The tooltip for my Earthquake is like 20k. Uh, that's not really that much, but remember we are an Inquisitor, so you can see there's 20k. So 20k is uh, a lot bigger than actually 20k. And this is with inconsistent crit rate as well, because I don't have the increased critical strikes gem in. So this is only 23%, which is nothing. But the AoE feels pretty good on it like this. Alright, so let me just put in increased critical strikes. That's an Ellie Reflect, so that's a little, uh, that's a little questionable. I don't want to hit that. <laughs> you can see in terms of damage, it's got the deeps. The deeps is no problem. Um, so that was kind of the character. I just wanted to show you guys a little bit. I don't want to do maps or anything because I, I swear to you, I'm really scared to play this character in hardcore. I feel like it's going to die to reflect. 
Um, even though I know I have Victor Flask, it's still like I've seen my ES just spike like crazy. So I decided that um, you know there were too many too many like restrictions on the on the gear. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop Charisma and drop Volpack and drop this whole section here, and I'm gonna drop Ghost Reaver, and instead I'm gonna pick up Shaman's Dominion, which gives me an insane amount of damage because it'll give me. Crit multi, crit multi, Shaman's Dominion, which is crit chance and crit multi, and then I'm going to pick up Double Totem and go Warchief Totem. Now, before you go Resident Sleeper Dan's game Warchief Totem, because that's what I thought at first, I didn't realize actually that it's going to be fun because my Warchief Totem is going to have insane amounts of AoE. So let me pull out Less Duration and put in like Melee Physical. So this is not an accurate, like, thing of it, because this is not the, the links I will, Actually, I don't have any nodes in the tree, actually. That's the main thing. But the one really cool thing about Warchief Totem is that I just rolled a 12% increase in Session Warchief Totem Radius. Actually, I bought it. I rolled it. And I want to show you guys this totem. I'm going to go to, like, Act 1 Normal here to show you the AoE of it. And you could potentially use, like, a Beast for a Shaol, but I think that's way too YOLO, because that's, like, so much less energy shield. And I'll still keep this amulet, even though it won't work for it. Um, because I'll still get super, like, super, super AoE. So, let's check out the full AoE of this totem. That's, like, a pretty big amount. That's, like... I'd say it's pretty fucking decent. Um, and Inquisitor still synergizes with it pretty well. So, I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. I think it's gonna be cool seeing a totem shatter and shock everything. I'm kind of excited for that. Um, because I just, I don't know, I felt it was just way too risky. Also, I get to drop Vinkter, and instead of Vinkter Flask, I get to run a Taste of Hate, uh, which is even, like, more damage, well, not less necessarily more damage than a Vinkter, but it gives me, my totems, the ability to freeze even, even better because of the extra damage, uh, and it gives me more mitigation, and I'll just chain, like, Ball Disciplines to keep my ES up. Anyway, that's pretty much about it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash pox. Hope you guys have a wonderful time, and I'll see you boys all tomorrow. Take care, everybody.